And the recorder button. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Now drink a little bit of water. Have fun with your YouTube show. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa, and I'm the Viet Vegan, because I'm Vietnam Vegan, and today we're making French toast. I don't know why I said French. So yeah, we're gonna make some French toast. This has been highly requested by people in my Discord, if you guys don't know what Discord is. It's like MSN, but for gamers, slash nerds, slash you don't have to be a gamer, but it's mostly gamers. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna join the Discord fam. It's a, it's a nice little community. We talk about food, we talk about life, we talk about art, games, obviously, it's pretty cool. And on that note, if you guys didn't know, I stream on Twitch. I play video games, and sometimes we talk, and a lot of times I'm eating on camera because I cannot be playing a game without eating for some reason. After the success of my blueberry pancakes, I thought you guys would like some French toast as well. I don't know why I'm talking like this. We're in a weird mood today. Okay, so we have some chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is what gives this that like sort of thick egginess. I wanted something with like protein and thickness. Uh, we have some cinnamon for that cinnamon flavor, and here we've got some salt. You're gonna get a whisk, and you're just gonna whisk these together. Evenly disperse the cinnamon, and I'm mixing in this like flat, wide bowl because we're gonna dunk some bread in it, and it's easier if your bowl's flat, you know? Gotta think ahead. This is some soy milk, and I actually ran out of soy milk, so I had to substitute part of it. It's half soy milk, half coconut kefir, but I tested this with just soy milk, and it was fine. Coconut kefir, because I had some, and that's the only dairy milk that was unflavored that I had, aside from Eddie's strawberry milk. I don't really like strawberry milk. Do you like strawberry milk? I much prefer chocolate milk. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Where do you land on the flavored soy milk or alternative milk train? Vanilla. I'm gonna add it to this for funsies. I'm gonna add a little oil in there too. I'm just gonna mix it all up. Sorry, if I seem like really out of it, it's because it's been a really rough week, but a really good week because we bought a house, almost, pending inspection and financing, but those are underway. Yeah, I'm really excited. The kitchen is really nice. It's very white, so that's gonna be fun to clean every time I have to film a video. That's not gonna be a deterrent at all. It's in Hamilton, so Hamilton vegans, I'll see you in Hammertown. Or if you're just from Hamilton and you're not vegan, like, I'll see you as well. It's not like I'm invisible to anyone who's not vegan. Wet ingredients have been mixed in sufficiently. We're gonna pour it into this. All right, you're gonna mix this in, so. It's gonna take a while, you wanna get all those lumps out. This is not like the pancake recipe where you want the lumpies. There are no lumps welcome here. I'm sure there are versions where you can use like aquafaba or like potato starch or like some other thing. I just, yeah, I wouldn't mind a scoop of protein powder in here. I think that would actually go really well. So if you like extra protein in your food, then maybe add a scoop of protein powder in here. I mean, like the chickpea powder's already pretty good. Future me. How much protein is in three quarter cups of chickpea flour? Put it, put it here. Future me. That much protein. So you know, it's not bad. Plus if you're eating gluten, the bread has some protein. But aside from that, like this mixture is gluten-free already. So if you want to make gluten-free French toast, well, here you go. Just use gluten-free bread. Lumps have been sufficiently eradicated. But now we have our griddle, and we're gonna we're gonna turn it up to 400. Sure. We got some vegan butter. We're just gonna butter this griddle up. You can easily use a pan, but my pan is dirty. So if you guys don't have a griddle, that's okay. You don't need a griddle, but it's fun and very flat and easy to flip things. There's no like lip or edge that you have to like work your way around, you know what I'm saying? So what you're gonna need next is some stale bread. Why stale bread, you may ask? It just doesn't absorb as much liquid quite as quickly um, and it gives a little more texture, firmness, and uh, structure to your French toast. Cause you don't want it like soaked completely, although Eddie has said that he wants it soaked. So lightly coat both sides. There's still some lumps, and we're just gonna press those out and get them hydrated, but you know it's fine. I'm gonna do the little drippy drippy, and then we're gonna, yeah, that's a nice sound. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Can you look at the bottom, see if it's brown? If it's not brown, leave it down. Around. Also, while we're here, my recipe is on this book, but a lot of you guys have been asking if I'm bullet journaling. I am, not very well, but 
it's happening. Uh, I have an Instagram account for my bullet journal, so if you guys want to follow that, it's Lisa Loves Leaves. It started out as my personal account, and then I just turned it into Bujo and plants. So, you know, my little, my planty, my planty baby. Oh God, my planty babies. I bought so many plants in the last like month. It's kind of bad, but also amazing. Oh my God, this one's popping off. Hell yeah. <laughs> These are probably browned enough. Enough of my uh, freaking out over my plants. Oh god, I didn't think this through. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah! Check, one more flip. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yo, check that out. That's freaking French toast, y'all. Now do I stack them? Or do I layer them in like a nice little pile of thirds. BRB, I'm gonna take a picture of these. I'm also gonna cook the rest of these and uh, we'll have a little taste test in a moment. All right, we added adequate raspberries. I'm gonna add some butter, vegan butter. Yeah. Bleh. All right, time for the taste test. <laughs> a little maple syrup, a little French toast. Cold, but it's good. I like it when it doesn't go all the way in, but you can like let it soak more of the batter if you want. I just prefer that it doesn't do that. How do you find it? Verdict? Tasty. Tasty, tasty. Come and taste the toast. Tasty, tasty. Not good. I was singing the Fergalicious one. But you know what? I like it. I like the remix. So if you guys want the recipe, I'll leave it linked down below. A lot of people sometimes comment, she didn't say that ingredients. How am I supposed to know how much stuff to add? Y'all, I put it in the link. I even say in the video. You know, I just gotta listen. Some people get really angry too. They're like, she didn't put any of the measurements in the video. Chill. What do you like better, French toast or pancakes? If you couldn't have one anymore. Uh, I like pancakes. I think I'll pick French toast. Okay. And let's continue to make French toast. Although I do really like pancakes. For <laughs> but waffles. You only have one forever. But waffles over everything. I choose waffles. Waffle video coming soon. I have a waffle recipe. I'll leave that link down below for you waffle people. I'm gonna eat this, get less hangry, and then edit this video for tomorrow slash today. <sighs> uh, if you guys want more breakfasty type foods, I seem to like breakfast a lot. I'll leave a little playlist of breakfast things. I think that's everything. If you like this video, give it a like, comment down below. What kind of person are you? French toast, pancakes, waffles, strawberry milk, chocolate milk, vanilla? What say you? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. <laughs> Sufficiently wet ingredients. That's not a sentence. Wow, 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 wow. Oh no, I touched the milk. What do I do? Don't touch it again. My glasses are very dirty. Uh.